Uh, in recent years, we saw an Australian commit the Christchurch Christchurch mosque shooting, the shooting death of the two members of the police force in rural Queensland, which was motivated by extremism, and more recently, neo-Nazis were seen at a Melbourne protest. Is the government and the wider society taking the threat of far-right white extremism seriously? Are we spending millions of dollars like we did responding to the threats of Islamic extremism? Anne, can I go to you on that and then we'll go to, the, to, uh, to Fatima and, and Andrew? Look, I don't think we're uh, consciously dealing with the extremism in a, in a manner that is positive uh, or affirmative. I mean, we need to be challenging these right-wing extremists. We need to be holding them accountable. We need to be exposing them. I mean, if, if there is one thing Aboriginal people know is these people because we have been held and, and terrorised by these people for generation after generation. So it's not a new phenomenon at all. It's something that we've dealt with, but now it's gone broader and now all of a sudden it's become an issue because it's broader than just an Indigenous issue. So it's something that we definitely need to challenge. We need to uh, encourage our governments to be far more affirmative than what they are currently. Fatima, the, the question went to what, something you raised before, and that is the rise of right-wing extremism. But we also know that Islamist extremism is real as well and yeah. an ongoing threat around the world. How do we have an overall approach to, to extremism? Thank you for your question, Abra. Um, and can I just say from the outset that uh, terrorism or extremism has no religion? Um, and I just want to make that clear because we don't want to put one uh, specific faith or group of people in a category. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and I think sometimes the media can blur the lines mm -hmm. there. Um, but in terms of what the government's doing, if I was to say, you know, to answer your question in particular, um, the Home Affairs Minister, Claire O'Neill, is working diligently with our agencies through ASIO to make sure that they're preventative measures, but also we're working on strengthening Task Force um, Australia initiative, which basically will identify ways of us... Um, you know, strengthening uh, that democ democratic ways of, like, developing our resilience, but also ensuring that citizens are, are able to trust one another and there's trust built between governments and citizens because fighting extremism isn't something that the Commonwealth can do on its own. It requires a whole nation approach and each and every one of us plays a role in ensuring that we fight terrorism and um, extremism, whether it's on a low scale where we're dealing with, you know, on a personal basis or within a lo locality or whether it's on a national um, space. And, you know, the Albanese government is committed to ensuring that we're, we are a secure, safe and prosperous nation. Andrew, you, you famously um, called out... Uh in Paris after attacks there. Um, the Bataclan. Yeah, mm. Islamist extremists saying yeah. you won't win. What would you say to right-wing extremists who are also, we're seeing, growing across particularly Europe? Mm. What would you say to them in terms of how they won't win? We're coming for you. <laughs> I mean, democracies need to recover their confidence mm. and their faith in themselves. You know, as Churchill said, it's the worst form of government imaginable except for all the others. Mm. And we need to be more militant in the defence of our democracy. And, mm. and don't play politics with, with, with this either, to say, oh, oh well, it's not just uh, Islamist extremism, we've got this right wing, or the right wing saying, oh, no, all the terrorism is Islamist. I don't care where it comes from. If you're prepared to... You know, and I was a Northern Ireland correspondent. Mm. I lived through a terrorist campaign that killed over 3,000 people. Wow. Uh, thankfully, came to... I was on an IRA death list for three years mm. uh, at one stage because we'd published some inconvenient stories. Mm. Actually, we'd published the guy that was raising all their money, so he wasn't that happy uh, uh, about it. So... We have to remember, and this is a bad time for democracy at the moment, I think, because there is a kind of new respect for authoritarianism. Mm. Uh, I mean, Mr Trump wanted to be an authoritarian. Mm. There's a kind of... You know, it amazes me, not just on the left now, but there's a group of people on the right who think that Mr Putin is not such a bad guy mm. uh, and that Ukraine is really just full of corrupt people and doesn't deserve to be supported. The, uh, don't want to bring it back to religion again, but the Pope seems to be, to me, rather too cosy with the Chinese at the moment. <laughs> so he can get the Catholic Church in there a bit more. Uh, 
this is a country which is basically ca carrying out the destruction of the Uyghur population uh, there, which, by the way, I don't hear the Arab world saying too much about either. So I think we need to realize that the world is dangerous at the moment. Authoritarians yeah. are on the match. The history of the 21st century, which was meant to be the triumph of, the ultimate triumph of democracy after the fall of the Berlin Wall, mm. and more and more countries were going democratic, including in Latin America, mm. and so on. The history of the 21st century so far has been the rise and success of authoritarianism. That's the danger. Mm. The biggest political party in France today after the government is Marine Le Pen on the, the National Front side. The second biggest party after her is a hard-left Marxist party. So we need to remember why we're democracies, flaws and all, that it's still the best way. It gives us programs like this where we can say what we want. I mean, we, you don't realize how important that freedom is until you lose it. And we need mm. to be militant. I use the word carefully, militant in the defense of democracy against extremists of everywhere, left, right, domestic, foreign, we take them out.